Fighters come center. Eight rounds will be my commands. Good luck. Touch gloves. Good luck. Let's go to work. J Lady. So we are okay. set for action at the contracted weight of 196 pounds. Jay Nady, the third man in the ring. There's Andrew the Beast to beat. He turned 26 September 20th, undefeated at 11 and 0 with 10 wins inside the distance. He is represented by Mayweather Promotions and against Thomas Lodi, who's 26. He's fighting out of Hungary. He is 16, 5 and 2 with 13 wins inside the distance. And I guess David Copperfield had the night off, Paulie, because the zeros did not disappear in our last fight. <laughs> they sure did not. And we're happy to have with us here at ringside a man who I guess is enjoying some retirement and of course uh, here as a promoter but also going to lend his chops to some analysis Floyd Money Mayweather joining us here in uh, his home away from home of course Las Vegas Floyd first of all congratulations on retiring at 49 and 0 thank you and, thank uh, you what do you th what interested you in, in Tabidi I know he's a member of Mayweather Promotions uh, what what made you invest in this youngster um you know young hungry very talented, fa very fast, sharp, athletic, and that's what we look for. You know, every fighter is not going to be the same. Earlier tonight, Jay Leon Love Come recorded on. a victory, so you're putting together your stable of fighters. And I guess uh, are we'll you going we, to become we, more? Are you going to become busier as a promoter? We're building one day at a time. We, we you know, we we're slowly building. Um, the last fight was very entertaining with both fought with both. Fighters being undefeated. Mm -hmm. um, Dalton from you know from my area, Michigan. Right, Crocs Jim. And Molina. I thought Molina won the last fight. You know myself personally. Um, but those type of things happen in the sport of boxing. Yeah, it was a close fight, man. Uh, what we were saying last fight, who, who the judges like the harder punching of Molina, the combination punching of Dalton. It was one of those fights that was sometimes harder to score than people think. Just to be, he's gotten off a couple of combinations this this fight thus far. What kind of a guy is to be Floyd? You know, we talked about the reason you signed him was for the talent that he has. What kind of a character do you look for also in a, fight, in a fighter that you're looking to sign? You know, he's a very, very good kid. You know, manners, respectful, and that's what we look for. Not just a guy that can, you know, go out there and do, you know, present himself inside the ring. But we want a guy that's going to represent us great on the outside as well. How involved are you going to be, Floyd, now that you have some free time uh, on a day-to-day -day basis with no other promotions? Um, like, are you scouting? Are you... When what, I'm what? working with Javante Tank Davis, that's one of our premier fighters, you know, I think he will be the next Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather if not one of the, one of the closest to mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather. Um, unbelievable fighter, dynamite power, fast. I mean, it's... I mean, the only thing we can do is just take one day at a time for each fighter, one day at a time. I saw Javante fight on your undercard. Yes. Short night, but you can see the, the, the skill set even in that one minute, you know. Uh, get his talent. Final 10 seconds of the opening round between Andrew the Beast Tabidi and his opponent, Tomas Lodi. Time, time, time! And uh, we would like to officially welcome Floyd Money Mayweather to ringside, sporting some uh, new colors there as well, huh? You're always uh, brainstorming, coming up with new branding ideas uh, for the Money just, team. Just living, just living one day at a time. I want to commend Virgil, you know, um, with the work that he done, with the work that he done with Andre Berto. He done a tremendous job with him, and I take my hat off to uh, Virgil Hunter, uh, one of the best trainers out there. He pushed Berto. Um, you know, but experience played a major key, you know, I think. And, um, you know, the thing that I do, you know, the thing that I did throughout my career was whatever a guy's best attribute is, I take it away from him and make him resort to doing something different. Well, I appreciate the compliment, Floyd. And it was a good, big honor to be in your last fight. One thing I noticed about uh, Tabidi is that, you know, he has a nickname, The Beast, but you can see your influence on him and being and learning the science of hitting and not getting hit and I think that's crucial as this sport moves along particularly to have an ambassador as yourself 
to promote the real skill and what boxing is all about. His size would uh, really throw off somebody. They would think he would go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to fight, but he's throwing athleticism. He has unusually long arms. He has good footwork, and he seems to have a good disc, uh, uh, sense of distance and range. Uh, Andre Ward is, you know, Andre Ward is a very good defensive fighter, and I, I don't think that I wouldn't have lasted this long if I wasn't a defensive fighter. Do you foresee that changing in a way because of what we know about trauma to the head concussions? You talked about your uncle Roger Floyd. Are we going to see a, a changing of the guard in terms of uh, fighters coming on the way up where they might espouse more of your philosophy than, you know, the days of our Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward? Well, no, absolutely not. I think it's, you know, fighters are going to continue to go out there and do what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, I think every fighter is different. Every fighter approach you know, boxing in a different way. Mm -hmm. Some approach it with heart. Some approach it with, I'm just saying this, count this, a, 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 every, every fighter approach it in a different way. You know, me, I approach it in a different way as far as counter punching. You know, um, when I was younger, I was slugging the guy. But as I got older, I got wiser. So I had, I had to change up. Mm -hmm. But you know, just working with, you know, Al, working with Leonard Ellaby on a regular, I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have worked so far in my career. They made everything easy for me inside that ring because they took care of business on the outside. Who is the heir apparent pound for pound, do you think, now that you've retired, Floyd? There's obviously a lot of candidates. Who, who do you think is the best pound for pound fighter right now in the sport actor? Oh, we can't really say. I mean, uh, what are your boy here? Tabidi is doing the number on his opponent, Lodi. Can no one come to mind? Well, Pacquiao still, Pacquiao still would be number two. You know, I think so because of his accomplishments. There's that uh, Roman Gonzalez, of course. Chocolatito, done very well. A lot of power in the lighter weights. Oh, 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 a nice combination put together by the beast. Tabidi and the Floyd will let you have the last one of what you just saw. Seven, eight, nine. You okay? Okay. Tabidi thought it was over, but Lodi got up. So Floyd, some, uh, some power there. I think Lordy would have stayed down, but he saw the beast start celebrating and made him want to get up. Well, Tabidi oh, in beast mode in this round. Floyd Mayweather will stay with us as we continue with PBC <laughs> on very, FS1. It's, it's very exciting, very exciting. Oh, man, it was a picture-perfect right hand by Andrew Tabidi. And we see why we call him the beast. Okay. <laughs> there he was. Lodi left his feet with that right hand. Stop him in the corner. And they're stopping it in the corner. So Andrew Tobidi in beast mode improves to 12 and 0 with his 11 stoppage victory. And, and that's that's a good call by uh, his corner because you know you don't want to see a fighter get hurt like that at the end of the round and with one minute rest come back out and have to take a, a series of punches again. It's all about protecting the fighter. And Floyd, me personally, I never knew, and this is just me personally saying, I never knew what the, the critics say when they say a defensive fighter. I never knew what a defensive fighter was. I mean, if I don't want you to hit me, then I'm going to practice what I need to do without you touching me. So don't say I'm a defensive fighter. You know fighter. what they say, Virgin? Common sense ain't that kind yeah. of Yeah, well, I mean, if, 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 if I'm outlanding you and my accuracy connect rate is high and yours is low, it seems like I'm more of a complete fighter as opposed to a defensive well fighter. Well-rounded, well-rounded. Yeah, well-rounded fighter. So, I mean, that's like uh, the great baseball players that could run, throw, catch, steal bases, and, and do awesome. it all. I'll tell you another thing, too. Every sport has taken their mechanisms to make sports safer. Football is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, home plate, uh, baseball eliminated the home plate collision. Boxing, you have boxers fighting more and more defensively. Mm -hmm. to, again, we don't want to use that word, but yeah. again, more intelligent boxing. And it's called, and they get criticized by saying they fight defensively. Again, we got an example here with Floyd Mayweather, who is able to last, his, his career is able to last that long because he fought in a manner that was intelligent and he knew how to attack as well as defend. And then I think people have to understand that these are still human beings in that ring. It's understood in, in other sports. It should be understood in well, combat nearly, sports as well. Nearly two decades atop the boxing profession, retired at 49 and 0. I still have a feeling he might be back for a crack at 50. <laughs> I'm not coming back. But look, 
We'll give you the last word, Floyd, before we go to the decision. Um, I'm just happy to be on the other side. You know? <laughs> well, we thank you very much I'm for joining us. happy to be on the other side. You know, I want to thank Virgil. I want to thank everyone. My pleasure. Paulie, you've done a hell of a job. Great job. Awesome. Let's go to Ray Flores for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, on the advice of the corner of Tomas Lodi, our referee in charge, Jay Nady, waves off the bat at the end of the second round for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Andrew the B. So Andrew the Beast Tabini improves. And there's Floyd Mayweather Sr. celebrating with him. So when we come back, we are just moments away from a 130-pound championship affair. There's Tabini closing the show with that straight right hand. You're watching PBC on FS1.